it looks so appetizing. Uh, we're going to get uh, the whole story behind Izakaya Asian Kitchen and Bar. It is a new establishment where Big Daddy's used to be on Elgin Street. So I was just... Yeah. I used to go along that street when yeah. I was really cool and I wasn't in bed so early. Uh, Neil Gow is joining us, uh, the uh, owner and sommelier. Great to have you on the show. Thanks for having uh, me. And congratulations. This is a great new new venture for you. Well, thanks very much, yeah. And we also have Emily here, by the way, who's going to be mixing some amazing drinks for us. Okay, but I, I do want to I want to start in mm -hmm. first. Kind of the concept of the restaurant and, you know, what people can expect. Uh, well, Izakaya essentially is... Um, a sake house, uh, a place for people to go have drinks, have uh, some nice uh, simple fare to go along with it. Um, we've did, done our own sort of uh, a style on it, twist on it, and we have quite a few different sort of uh, concepts of food. Uh, Asian across the board, a little bit of Thai, a little bit of mm -hmm. Korean, a little bit of Japanese. Um, small plates, large plates, great for sharing, the whole concept. So it's pretty and much you can go in and have a couple of amazing and amazing different drinks. style drinks uh, yeah. with small plates or you're heading in for a nice hefty good meal. Exactly. You can do it all but healthy. The, the concept was to do healthier sort of food mm -hmm. as well. Things that you know, you're not going to feel too heavy afterwards. And uh, some great drinks, great wine. To well, go along with it. It looks great. We're going to be cooking in the next segment with uh, your executive chef, Michael Radford. Uh, Emily, right now, has been busy kind of starting to prep some of the drinks. So, yeah. are we having fun with this? What kind of different drinks are we looking at? Um, this is our Taiwan on. It's really great. It has Hendrix gin, um, some lemongrass syrup, muddled cucumber, as well as some lime, some fresh lime. It's been really great. It's very popular at the restaurant. We also have sang sangria with lychee, some melon liqueur. Um, we also have some cranberry infused with ginger which Wait. is also becoming okay. popular. Okay, I'm going to back up. So yeah. this is a, a lychee sangria. Yes, mm -hmm. well, it's a rosé sangria. Um, some lime and lemon is it as well. A little lychee uh, syrup, a little um, uh, lemon grass syrup as well, and uh, some ginger infused mm -hmm. cranberry really like kind of heightens all the flavors. I'm trying to stay with the sort of Asian flavors and stuff along with the, the cocktails we're adding. Now I was going to ask you, I mean you're a sommelier and yeah. you've done a, a variety of things with a number of restaurants, so yeah. was it fun for you to it's kind a, of come up with these concepts? Because these sound oh, yeah. incredibly, you know, tasty it's, and different. It's very different and uh, fun and uh, challenge to match with all the uh, interesting flavors that mm -hmm. Michael uses. The spices that he uses. Do you mind if I actually try one? Oh, of these? Yeah, okay, I'm going, I'm going with this one first because this one really, it, it I love like a lychee. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's great on our patio to enjoy. We have a beautiful, nice big patio on the side. Oh my god, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, so this is the lychee sangria. The lychee sangria. Well, the rose sangria, lychee ginger sangria. Whatever you want, it's, yeah, it is it's, fantastic. But I can just imagine it, it's it's fresh. It's, it's oh, it's fresh. It's fun. You know, interesting, powerful flavors are going to match up with the powerful flavors that come with the food. Now, are you able to do matchings? I mean, you're you're often doing that, but yeah. this will be a different experience in terms of the drinks and the food as well. Well, to, exactly. To well, like care. I said, it's a challenge because a lot of spice, a lot of interesting sort of powerful flavors that go along with the food. But that was a fun challenge for me as a sommelier to kind of pair it up. We have really well-trained staff that are into wine, into drinks, into into beer, and uh, we think we do a really good job of uh, pairing our food with our uh, our drinks. Well, it's fun to see. Has it been fun for you, Emily? I mean, this, these are different drinks than you're not used to, you know, usually yeah, making. It's been a lot of fun, and our bar is humongous. It's almost 22 seats. Oh, so wow. it creates a really great atmosphere. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and so fun. I guess people are looking to try. You know, oh, they're, they're yeah, coming they in. Oh yeah, they want to try new things and experiment, experiment with new cocktails and items on the menu. It's really great. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine awesome. drinking one of those on yeah, an iPad. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking yeah. right now. I'm like, okay, I can yeah. do this, yeah. and then we'll just go. Uh, this is fantastic. I think I might have just found my favorite drink for the <laughs> summer. Right now. Congratulations. Thanks very uh, much. We're gonna come back in the next segment. We're gonna have um, your chef, uh, the executive chef Michael Radford, uh, doing some interesting work here. I mean, it just. I love how it's all broken down, so we'll have a chance to see some of the food coming up. Uh, we still have plenty more to come here on CTV Morning Live, so stay with us. A little bit of fiddling coming your way as well, so still more to come.